Hey folks, let's talk about potted plants and transplanting potted plants. Uh, somebody requested a video and winter care of potted plants. So we have a lot of palms and exotica in plants. And uh, remember one thing, plants in pots like this are much less cold hardy than if they were in the ground. So these all go into the unheated tiki hut and uh, the citrus, some of it I throw in the basement and it's very cool in there. It's kind of like a big crawl space. And uh, so some of these guys are getting ready for transplanting. So you can see they're in about 15 gallon size containers. Those are okay for now. But these guys right here, there's about seven or eight uh, date palms in this container. And the container's about, probably about a 15 gallon size pot. So never step them up too big a pot size. So this needle palm here, for instance, uh, if I was gonna transplant this, I would only go about this much bigger, wider in diameter pot size. Something about, something about like that. It doesn't have to go to a massive pot. And I think it's actually better for the palm. So this is a Rapido Philum Hystrix. And looks like this one could actually use some more soil in the bottom of the pot. I think I'm gonna pull this one up and add some more soil down the bottom, but it's a beautiful uh, palm. So remember, when you step them up, just step them up a pot size. You don't have to go from a small pot to a massive pot. And also remember, to uh, protect them in the winter time. If you're in a colder winter area, you're subject to uh, heavy freezes at times. If the pot freezes solid, then you can kiss your palm tree goodbye. You're gonna have a palmsicle. That's what you're gonna have. So this Camerops also is probably ready to put into the ground and uh, we can replace it with something else. So we'll, we'll put that in the ground and then we'll put a, uh, another palm inside that pot. And uh, I mean, what more can I say? Uh, when you store them in the wintertime in the uh, Tiki Hut, I check them occasionally for moisture. I think I only water them actually once all winter. So November, December, January, February, and it's now, it's the beginning of March. I watered them once between that, those, all those months, all right? A lot of them hold the moisture really well, especially if you have them in good soil and it is in cool conditions. Here out on the sun deck, they're definitely gonna need more water because it gets full sun, just started raining now, but when we get the sun out here, it bakes. So, you know, I have to check the water uh, every day or so in some of these pots because it does get warm out here, okay? And uh, I mean, not much more I can say that uh, other than that potted plants look great on, uh, on a sun deck. They give it that kind of that tropical look, these exotic plants. And, uh, you know, if they're not too big, you can manage them and you can store them away for the winter time. Just make sure you have a place to store the potted plants for winter. That's a Trachycarpus latissectus. And that one actually has to be transplanted. It's a 15 gallon size and I'm going to put it into a 20 gallon size pot. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos here on this channel and also give them a slow release fertilizer. I put slow release palm food on these guys and it will last probably about 10 weeks or something like that. So with this rain, it'll soak in a little bit and also use a, a special planter box mixed soil where it's a little bit lighter. So uh, drainage is also important too in your pots. All right, cheers to you folks. Happy palm growing. Happy pot growing.